Hello sa ating mga math tiyagang taga subaybay at nais math tuto dito sa ating channel Sir Chowell. Welcome po! Our lesson for today is about multiplication of fractions. Specifically, fraction multiplied by another fraction. So, tapos na tayo sa addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions. This time, we will give more focus on this operation, multiplication. So, if you are ready, then let us start. To multiply fractions, it is important that you know this method, cancellation method. When to use this cancellation method? So, cancellation method can be applied before multiplying the fractions. Ibig sabihin, bago ka magmultiply ng fraction, apply cancellation method. Why? So that the product is already written in its lowest term. So, kapag pala in-apply natin ang cancellation method, automatically, yung ating sagot ay mapapasulat sa kanyang lowest term. Kasi pag hindi nga naman natin in-apply ang cancellation method, in the end, ay hindi naka-lowest term ang magiging kasagutan. Another is, uh, you can apply cancellation if there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. So, to apply cancellation method, it is important that you know the common factor of a numerator and a uh, given denominator. Hindi pala ito dapat parehong numerators at hindi rin naman dapat parehong denominators. Dapat isang numerator, isang denominator na kung saan merong common factor. Well, in our previous videos, I've taught you how to uh, make the fraction written in its lowest term. Diba? Uh, kung saan iniisa-isa natin ang factors of the given numerator and factors of the given denominator. Then from there, doon natin nalalaman kung ano yung greatest common divisor. Nang sa ganun, may lowest term natin yung given fraction. So, tanda? Okay. Now, let us have these fractions. A over B times C over D. So, gumamit ako ng letters para na sa ganun, ma-identify natin kung paano ba talaga gumamit nitong uh, cancellation method. At the same time, paano ba talaga mag-multiply ng fractions. So, with this given, dapat, if you are going to apply cancellation method, at first, look for a common divisor of A over B. Another is common divisor of A over D. And then, another is common divisor of C over B. And lastly, a common divisor of C over D. Diba, based from our uh, previous discussion ano, a while ago, Sabi natin, uh, if there is a chance that the numerator and the denominator has common factor, then apply cancellation method. So, ito yung pattern on how you can apply cancellation method. If you notice, isang numerator at isang denominator ang nakalagay dito sa ating pattern. Now, to be more specific, let us have a sample. Example number one. 2 over 3 times 6 over 7. So, in our pattern, yung 2 is our A, 3 is our B, C is 6, and D is 7. Sabi natin, para mas madali, A over B, A over D, C over B, and C over D. So, at first, tingnan natin, what are the given numbers? So, we have 2, 3, 6, 7. Tama? Now, factors of 2, 1 times 2. So, the factors are 1 and 2. Factors of 3 can be obtained through 1 times 3. So, factors are 1 and 3. Then, factors of 6 can be obtained through 1 times 6, 2 times 3. So, factors are 1, 6, 2, and 3. While 7 can be obtained through 1 times 7. So, factors of 7 are 1 and 7. 
Now, after knowing all the factors of 2, 3, 6, 7, na kung saan ito yung given, out of the given problem, ano? Isa-isahin natin ulit. A over B. If you look at A and B values, di ba? 2 and 3. The only common factor is 1. So, meaning to say, since the only common factor of the two numbers, 2 and 3, is 1, hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-lowest term. Dahil siya ay naka-lowest term na. Ayos? So, tapos na tayo sa A over B. Next is A over D. So, ano ba ang value ng A? 2. Ano ang value ng D? 7. So, look at the factors of 2 and 7. The only common factor is 1. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel ang 2 and 7. Since the only common factor is 1. Okay? So, tapos na rin ang A over D. Next, we have C over B. What is the value of C? 6. What is the value of B? 3. So, 6 and 3. Look at the factors of 6 and 3. There is a common factor of uh, 6 and 3, di ba? Aside from 1, common din sila sa 3. Meaning to say, we can ca uh, apply cancellation method dun sa 6 and 3. And the greatest common factor of 6 and 3 is 3. Ibig sabihin, apply cancellation method. Paano? So, ibig sabihin nun, 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. And 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. So, yan yung way on how you can apply cancellation method. Again, alamin muna yung greatest common divisor of a numerator and a denominator. Okay? So, yun yung C over B. Now, the new value of C is 2. While the new value of B is 1. Balikan natin. C over D. Yung kasunod. Yung last. So we have 2 and 7. So the only common factor of 2 and 7 is 1. Kaya hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-lowest term. So now, after knowing this, ano, matapos natin gawin yung apat na patterns. Tingnan ulit natin. Tama ba? A over B is 2 over 1. So, since the denominator is 1, hindi na pwede i-cancel. A over D is 2 L over 7. Wala na rin common factor. C over B is 2 over 1. Okay, so tapos na siya. And C over D is 2 over 7. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel. Now, this time, time to multiply the numerators over the product of the denominators. So, what is 2 times 2? Of course, the answer is 4. And 1 times 7, the answer is 7. In this problem, what is the correct answer? So, ibig sabihin dito, 2 thirds times 6 sevenths, the product is 4 sevenths. Or 4 over 7. Okay? Ayos. Example number 2. 4 over 5 times 5 over 8. So again, let us identify what is A, B, C, and D in this problem. Our A is 4, B is 5, C is 5, and D is 8. Now, ano nga ulit yung patterns natin para mas meradaring mag-cancel? We have A over B, A over D, C over B, and C over D. So, bago natin alamin, what are the given numbers nga ulit? We have 4, 5, and 8. Tama? Dahil dalawa naman yung 5, considered siya as 1. Ano? So, again, we have 4, 5, and 8. What are the factors of 4? So, factors of 4 can be obtained through 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. While 5 is true, 1 times 5, 8 is true, 1 times 8, and 2 times 4. So, these are the factors of 4, 5, and 8. Now, balikan na natin yung ating pattern, or patterns, A over B muna. So, A over B, we have 4 over 5. If you look at 4 and 5, the only common factor is 1. Meaning to say, hindi mo pwedeng i-apply ang cancellation 
method. Ano? Dahil wala ka namang makakancel. Ayos? Next, a over d is 4 over 8. Now, look at the factors of 4 and 8. The common factors of 4 and 8 are 1, 2, and 4. So, ibig sabihin, may tatlong common factors ang 4 and 8. But, the greatest common factor here is 4. Ibig sabihin, we will divide 4 and 8 by 4. Okay? So, what is 4 divided by 4? The answer is 1. 8 divided by 4, the answer is 2. Ibig sabihin, 4 over 8 is 1 over 2. In this case, ano na ang value ng A? 1. Value of D? 2. So, yan yung ating new values of A and D. Okay? Next, C over B is 5 over 5. Now, if you notice, numerator and denominator are what? The same. Ibig sabihin, magiging na siyang, uh, ang common divisor ay 5. So, what is 5 divided by 5? 1. Kaya, instead of 5 over 5, it is now 1 over 1. And the new value of C here is 1. At new value ng B ay 1. Okay po? And last pattern, C over D. Okay? So, dahil C over D, ano C over D? 1 over 2. Why 1 over 2? Eh, 5 over 8, sir, yung nakalagay doon. Diba? A while ago, sabi natin, the new value of C is 1. And the new value of D is 2. That's why we have this 1 over 2. Nakuha. Okay? Ayos. Now, from the original problem, ano na ang ating magiging problem? What is the new value of A? Ay, di sabi natin, 1. The new value of B? 1. The new value of C? 1. And the new value of D? 2. So, we have now 1 over 1 and 1 over 2. So, multiply. Balikan natin. A over B, 1 over 1. So, wala na. A over D is 1 over 2. Okay, simplified. C over B is 1 over 1. Okay. And C over D is 1 over 2. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel. Therefore, time to multiply the numerators and the denominators. What is 1 times 1? The answer is 1. 1 times 2? The answer is 2. Meaning to say, 1 half or 1 over 2 is the correct answer of our problem 4 over 5 times 5 over 8. So, that's it. Okay? Ayos. Again, in multiplying fractions, apply cancellation method. Para nang sa ganon, your answer is already written in its lowest term. Sabi natin kanina, if the problem is a fraction multiplied by another fraction, let's say A over B times C over D, our first pattern is simplify A over B, simplify A over D, then C over B, and lastly, C over D. So, take note of these patterns. Ano? Para nang sa ganun, alam mo yung uh, kinukuha mong common factor na kung saan magsisilbing common divisor. After knowing the factors, sabi natin, or after simplifying your fractions as much as possible, you need to repeat. Ano? Repeat what? The pattern. A over B, A over D, C over B, and C over D. So, it is necessary to repeat the pattern. Bakit po? Kasi nga, meron ka nang nakuhang new value or values dun sa A, B, C, and D. Okay? And then, after na maulit mo siya, time to you, or time for you to multiply. Multiply what? Numerator by numerator over denominator by denominator. So, these are the steps 
on how you can multiply fraction by another fraction. Okay. okay. So, eto na ulit tayo sa inyong exercises kung saan i-apply nyo yung matutunan nyo regarding cancellation method. Tandaan lamang, ang pagka-cancel, dapat one numerator and one denominator. Yung ating patterns na A over B, A over D, C over B, and C over D ay guide ninyo kung paano i-apply ang cancellation method. Pero kung alam nyo na to before, mas mainam. Mas madali ninyong masasagot ang ating exercises. So, I hope na kaya nyo ulit i-perfect itong ating exercises na ito, numbers 1 to 5. So, hihintayin ko ulit ang inyong mga kasagutan. Pwede nyo ulit i-PM sa akin or i-send doon sa ating uh, group. So, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Good luck! Muli po, thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsubaybay. Palagi nyo lang tatandaan, maging matyaga upang matuto dito sa aking channel, Sir Diowell. Salamat po!